So it was just a year ago that so many of us were attending the inauguration and we were all milling around just right down a floor down here and getting ready for the inauguration ceremony. Um, I think there were a lot of Americans that were very optimistic about what might come in the Biden administration. You know, I was hearing that at home. Um, they were hoping that our, our country could heal, come together, and even President Biden had stated that uh, during his inauguration speech, that he was going to bring our nation together and he would be a president for all. Um, unfortunately, what we have seen over the course of the past year has let um, not just Republicans down because they were very skeptical of the Biden administration, but he's let Democrats down as well. Um, all Americans. We have a very divided country right now, a lot of divisive rhetoric that is out there. But if you look at what is affecting our American family, you know, the, the kitchen table politics all across this country, inflation is the highest it has been in 40 years. You know, for those of us that live in rural areas, our neighbors have to drive quite a ways to get to their place of employment. Gas prices mean something to those families. Groceries, if you go to the local grocery store, the costs are up significantly for those families. Our heating prices across Iowa right now as winter is hitting us, they have skyrocketed. You know, families are making really tough decisions right now. The supply chain is broken. Um, over the weekend, I had folks in Red Oak telling me they've been working on a home improvement project, but so much of everything they need is on back order. So it's extending much, much longer than they had anticipated. And the costs of those goods have gone up significantly. Um, illegal border crossings are out of control. And there is no solution coming from this administration. Um, I want to touch on Afghanistan, as uh, some of our, our colleagues have done. Um, Iowans are still thinking about Afghanistan. One of the young men that was killed in those final days grew up in my home community in Red Oak, Iowa. I personally know his family. They have not forgotten, and we should not forgot, forget either. It was a really horrible situation, and it left not only these families hurting, but so many veterans that are concerned about whether their efforts were worth it in the global war on terrorism. We can't forget. Our adversaries, if you just look at Russia and what's going on in Ukraine, adversaries are emboldened. Um, China as they're pushing up against Taiwan. I mean, I, I can't think of one area across the United States, whether it's the economy, our foreign affairs, what has not been touched as a failure by this administration. And folks, it's only been a year. And Iowans are really concerned about the next three years and what it is going to bring if President Biden doesn't pivot away from the radical left's agenda. We can't take much more of this, folks. My folks back home are upset. And I really hope that President Biden does the right thing and starts focusing on the issues that matter to all Americans and not just the radical agenda of the left.